Hello there, Marty McDonough with Thor Motor Coach. Thanks for your time. Today we're going to talk a little about our Riviera. Right in front of us we have our 39BH bunkhouse model. So this is a relatively new brand for us. Uh, just launched it at the Tampa Super Show back in January 2023. And uh, what we're going to do today is just take a little look around and then uh, go take a peek inside. So uh, from a gut standpoint, uh, you have an Onan 6K quiet diesel generator up front, full Sikkim's paint across the board, frameless dual pane windows. And then over here, you got your nice little exterior TV with the sound bar. It does position away from the sun. So if you're watching a football game, doing a little tailgating, you're good to go on that front. And then I'm just gonna show you the awning system as well. So the awning system does have a built-in motion sensor. So if you are out tailgating late, forget to bring that awning system in and a uh, storm throws rolls through in the middle of the night, you know, that'll auto retract for safety purposes to ensure it doesn't rip and tear off. Um, and then checking over here, you have your 90 gallon diesel fuel fill. So you have a fuel fill on this side, a fuel fill on the other side as well. So 90 gallon fuel tank, they both feed into that same main reservoir. And uh, you know, the benefit of a class A diesel pusher with dual fuel fill um, is that it doesn't matter which side of the pump you go to fill up at, right? Um, that's actually the number one place people end up wrecking their RV. So having the flexibility to be able to uh, pull up on either side of the pump is a, is a big win. Over here, you're gonna see that we have our underneath storage compartment. So you got these nice side hinged aluminum storage doors, and we got rid of all of the organic materials underneath. So you got a block foam with a pebble grain fiberglass finish. So it's nice, it's bright, it's white. Most importantly, no organic materials underneath, so there won't be any rotting. Over here, you have some additional pass-through storage. This is on an XCS straight rail chassis, so you'll see that chassis frame rail right in the middle. That being said, still ample storage. One, two full pass-through storage bays. One more over here. And this is gonna be your water fuel. Coming on back. This is gonna be your battery tray. So you have four residential house batteries and then you have two chassis batteries. So the residential batteries, that's what's gonna control all of the, uh, all of the electronics and appliances throughout the coach. So it works in tandem with that inverter to ensure that all of the appliances on the inside are getting the appropriate right amount of power. Basically think of this as cleaning the power to use the appliances on the inside. Right over here, this is gonna be the brains of the coach. You got your solar controller, your firefly controls. Over here, you have your Gerard tankless water heater on board. So we do have a tankless water heater, which is awesome. And then you have your exterior LP quick connect right there. So if you want to do a little grilling and chilling, you're good to go. Speaking of grilling and chilling and using the audio and the awning system, I neglected to mention right here, this little four logo, you got a built-in doggy tether. So if you got a crazy pooch with you, you can leash him up and he'll hang out with you and the family. So on the rear of the coach over here, you have a ladder, help crawl up to the top. Uh, uh, speaking of the roof, uh, we do have a cross flex membrane. Um, so it's not fiberglass, but it certainly is not TPO. Okay. Cross flex is 10 times more rip and tear resistant than traditional TPO. And then along that, uh, up on the roof, we have a WineGuard 2.0 connect best in the business for Wi-Fi purposes. So you can put a data, uh, it comes with a WineGuard, uh, SIM card, but you could streamline your bills, go AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, get a data only plan, pop that SIM card in there. And then boom, you got Wi-Fi on the go. And it also acts as a Wi-Fi range extender. And in addition to that on the roof, we have one 100 watt solar panel that comes standard. You could also plug and play two additional 100 watt solar panels for a max of 300. Those solar panels are just gonna provide trickle charge battery down to those residential house batteries and ensure that those get topped off. So all of our diesel pushers are on a Freightliner chassis. You can see right here, this particular coach has a 340 horsepower diesel engine. It's a Cummins 6.7 liter diesel engine with 700 pound feet of torque. And then XCS, that just uh, shows you that it's that straight rail chassis, right? Coming along to the side, one beautiful thing that we feature on this Riviera is you actually have a power cord reel for that 50 amp shore power. That's awesome. Over here, you have your rear bathroom drain. 
And then you'll notice you have an electric uh, Schwintec slide mechanism. So you got one, two, three over there. Open up this storage bay, you're gonna have your 13 gallon DEF tank. So any diesel vehicle after 2006, it is required to have that DEF fluid in there. Just helps with emissions. And then over here you have a wet bay. So one cool thing about how we do it is we actually merge our black and gray tanks right here. So you could actually swivel this in the up position when you're cruising down the road and put this cap on it. So it'll prevent any spillage while you are taking the coach out. Uh, got a nice little hose to rinse everything off and you do have a water pump as well. Now on this slide, since we have a lot of weight on it, we utilize the Schwintec electric three track slide system. And the fun stuff. So this is gonna be your 32 gallon propane tank. So this is a propane coach. This is what's going to heat the hot water and heat the coach itself, okay? It's going to utilize that 35 gate, 35K BTU furnace um, to give heat throughout the coach. That secondary fuel fill I mentioned on the other side. And then this is the hydraulic system for that automatic jack hydraulic leveling system. So in the event you need to pop the hood right up front, you got a little... Thing you could pull on that'll pop the hood and then this is mounted on a little t-bar so don't go yanking it but you just push in lift up and there is your onan 6k quiet diesel generator now let's go take a peek inside for the riviera we decided to uh have a few different looks to it so we have four different exterior graphic options and then a couple different interior packages. What you see here is our lifestyle edition. Very, very well received by our customers and dealers like so far. You got the light gray upper cabinets, the dark brown trim, and the dark brown bottom cabinets. And we'll take a peek at this boot dinette over here real quick. So what we decided to do was add a couple extra seat belts. So you got two seat belts on each side for a total of four. They are mounted by a T-bracket, so it's a lot safer than four mounted seat belts. Over here... You can put your phone right on there. You got wireless charging in the booth dinette. This drops down. Put the cushions in, that converts to a bed as well. And then a couple fun things over here. Speaking of seat belts, we added dual child tethers. So if you have kids in car seats, they are forward facing, so they'll be safe cruising down the road. And then you can just pop off these cushions and Voila, you have dedicated trunk storage space, pillows, blankets, bottles of water, all that good stuff. So excellent space utilization on this particular floor plan. You do have 12 volt power outlets over here underneath the cabinets on either side. Um, one thing I want to show you too is all of these remotes actually pop right off the wall. Um, so you can control it via that touch panel up front or you can control different segments. Uh, these keys are backlit LED. And if you want, if you see the arrows on it, that means that you can control the lights. So just hold it. And as you can see, it's got built-in dimmers on it too. The keys are backlit LED, so if it's in the middle of the night, can't see what you're pressing, not an issue. It does use a little battery, which uh, pairs up with that main touch screen over there. So if one of these is running low on battery, that screen will indicate and you can get that replaced easy peasy. Over here, you have your trifold sofa bed. And then moving on into the kitchen, you do have an induction cooktop, a convection microwave oven. Got your power outlets right there, but who doesn't want more power outlets? You got three additional ones right there. Push them away, out of sight, out of mind. And then stepping over to the fridge, you do have ample pantry space located right here for all your goodies. One cool thing about this fridge, does have a little lock on it so the doors won't swing open when you're taking those tight turns. So voila. And then moving on back, so this 39BH is our bunk model. We also offer a bath and a half and a floor plan under 35 feet for those of you that like state and national parks. So bunks for the kids. Coming on over here, you do have a nice uh, this is a two full bath bunk model, um, and you'll notice that the shower over here actually has a nice little lip on it. So if you're washing the kids who like to get messy or perhaps a pet that you have traveling with you, got a nice little tub built in. 
So this is the Firefly panel. This is the brains of the coach. Auto gen start, you can control this for time, temperature, uh, voltage. Um, so say you're at a campground and you know that the, uh, the cutoff, you're not allowed to run the Jenny after 10 o'clock. Boom, you're good to go. You can control that right there. Home page, master on off light switch, all your tank levels, your chassis battery levels, your house battery levels. Go solar, you can click that. That'll use the, uh, the solar panels up on the roof, show you what your voltage is over the last few days or your rolling seven day total. Lights, you can control all the lights throughout the coach. Same thing that we talked about earlier. If it has the up down arrow, that means that it's got a built in dimmer on it. So you can control the lights however you see fit. This right here, this electrical, it's gonna show you uh, the transfer switch to the breaker brush to the inverter and charger. And this is also a lot you're gonna program that auto gen start area too. Temperature, you got your rear and front AC units. So just click on one to toggle over. And then the slides. So you just gotta make sure if you're taking the slides in or out that that bed is in the up position. And it'll indicate it right here. So some of the requirements we have to utilize the slides, ignition, parking brake, and the chassis voltage has to be over 13.2. So back to the bedroom. Let me turn the lights back on here, sorry. So ample wardrobe space over here. You actually have a little bit of hidden space behind this nice TV over here. You got a nice wardrobe with a chrome rod up top over there. Here is your stackable washer dryer. So you can take your laundry with you on the road. And then this is the master bath back there. So nice one piece fiberglass bathtub. We did add a nice uh, seat in that shower. Uh, you got the nice sink over here. Uh, you do have ample storage space for all of your uh, your towels and other belongings right there.